In this episode, we take you for a tour around the boat, show you a bit of the ins and outs, and tell you what we think about it. Hello, YouTube. My name is Manuel. Follow me during all these episodes and together we'll explore the best of Europe. Alright, tour of the boat. We'll uh, start on uh, the aft platform. It's not a high-low, it's a fixed platform. But uh, it's a nice feature. You can sit on it, put your feet in the water. Yeah, it's really nice. It stands the boat for one meter. The back of the boat, we have uh, some seating over here. Uh, for the moment, this looks like on the outside of the boat. But as we mentioned on the Bali's, this whole area is completely opens up. And then you have seating inside, outside. It's just great. That's a uh, diesel there. We have some on the other side and somewhere in the middle we can fill up the water. Um, this is some extra storage. Now let's see if we can open this up. Yeah, we have the shore cable in here, some gasoline for the outboard engine, buckets just for just some general storage. We have the sound more or less same on the other side. Yep, we do, unless it's not storage, but it's a grill. It's a very nice feature, we're gonna use this. Moving on, let's uh, go to the front of the boat. We have another relaxation zone here. Um, I had my coffee here this morning. Uh, it's a nice area as well. You can uh, sit here, relax. Uh, you can turn the table towards you, put your coffee here, and just enjoy the view, guys. Check this out. Amazing. Absolutely amazing uh, over here yeah we have some some more relaxation area over here you can go sunbathing if there's enough sun this is some storage uh, let me see if I can show you yeah what have we got here we have some uh, spare anchor some spare ropes Everything we have to spare, isn't there? Close this up, yeah. Okay. That's the hatches over the bedroom. And we have same here, hatches over the bedroom and some more storage over here. I think this one is empty. Let's see if I can show you. Yeah. Just look at what a space guy. I can easily sleep in there. <laughs> that big. And then, yeah, I think we have to move on to the flybridge. Yes, yeah, we do. We still have a flybridge over here so the stairs it's accessible on both sides it's good stairs there are good grab rails and yeah there's a nice seating area here um, personally I didn't sit here yet let's try it yeah why not there's a fridge we have some uh, I put some water in the fridge there 
Uh, there's a sink. There's a sink in here as well. Just have to. Oh, look at that, guys. Yeah, it really is nice. And there's some. Um, put your drinks here, some cup holders, some grab rails if you're going into rough sea. Uh, yeah, this is the helm station. It's more or less the only helm station on this boat. Uh, yeah, I was I was thinking on if it's if it's a drawback or not. If it's a disadvantage, so I've only one helm station. I think having two is just yeah, just two systems you pay for and and you're only using one. So mm, yeah. On the other hand, uh, if it's if the weather's really bad, yeah, you're gonna have to sit here and yeah, if you're not in a harbor, you're gonna have to sit here and and drive the boat to uh, to real bad weather. So then you're exposed to the elements. There's not an enclosure on this boat for the for the flybridge, so uh, yeah, it's gonna be uh, harsh. Also, there's a. Uh, All the instruments uh, start stop for the engines Yamaha engines throttles digital throttles as well the fusion hi-fi system uh, lights in here and a horn also a bow thruster also an interesting question on a catamaran do you need a bow thruster yes or no let me know in the comments, guys, what you think about it. Seating area, yeah, real nice. I've been driving the boat from here. Uh, it's real nice. Compass here as well. Uh, Yanmar engine controls, Ray Marine, autopilot, zip wake, trim taps. Uh, worked, worked really nice. It's uh, for the windlass and the chart plotter. Chart plotter, yeah, that's because we only have one. I would have preferred that it was a little bigger. Uh, that's a uh, that's a bit a bit small because we only have one. I would have have I would have preferred to have a larger display in here space was there so why not anyway it is what it is so let's continue there's some seating here on the side as well not only that we've covered this here but on the back there is seating as well not only seating you can lie down sunbathing you can run over it and jump in the water if the water's warm enough. <laughs> yeah, it really is. It really is a great boat. Uh, I was a bit skeptical at first. I was a bit skeptical uh, about the Bali. I didn't know if it was gonna tick all the boxes, but yeah, it. it definitely it definitely does uh, the only drawbacks that I could find was the chart plotter that I would have liked to have a little bit bigger but that more or less it even so I was in at first I was uh, I was a bit yeah I'll not say panicking but I said oh my god when I'm at the throttle I'm not gonna see the Uh, the back of the boat, the the, the uh, platform, the swim platform. But if you just, yeah, if I can, you can see I can reach the throttles, and if I put, I can see, if I put my knee on the on the seating area. I can see the the side of the of the transom. So that's not an issue. I was I was a bit scared. 
maybe a camera a camera on the back and if you then have a, a bigger jaw potter you can put a camera on there that would have been awesome but yeah we'll manage oh another thing i almost forgot is there's even a sunroof we can open this up uh, when it's too hot when the sun's too bright when it's too hot in here we can even open up the roof so yeah another thing oh all uh, storage underneath storage storage underneath there uh, plenty of storage on this boat plenty plenty of storage so this is uh, the dining area and the kitchen you can see we have uh, a fridge freezer fridge freezer combination Looks like a domestic uh, system. We have a microwave oven, a normal oven, yeah, and they're all switches for lights, underwater lights, uh, everything. We have a three burner hop, gas, gas cooking, really good system. An espresso machine, we have a toaster, has fire extinguisher here as well, some things to put bottles and glasses. This is the we've been doing dishes. The sink, kitchen sink, seawater and shore water. We have uh, oh, lots of cabinets, lots of storage in here. Uh, you can see no, no shortage on storage. Uh, drawers with all the cutlery, cutlery. Oh, all the pottery, the toaster. All the all the plates. Look at these guys. Yeah. So storage is definitely not an issue. We even have uh, some cabinets on top where we have some stuff in there. Uh, what else have we got? Yeah. Here bread some fruit dried fruit yeah we more or less have everything here so the kitchen is yeah really yeah really handy we, we really love it uh, at first i was a bit skeptic about the system uh, when i saw it on on the picture i pictured it to myself that the table was gonna be much closer to the to the kitchen area but you have loads of space and this is really you can walk around the table here uh, yeah we, we really love it uh, table as well it's it's a really big table you can easily fit six people six to eight people eight if necessary uh, for dining and if you're just uh, sitting around the table and, and in the evening, I want to want to enjoy a drink. You can fit easily ten people. Uh, it's not a high low table. Uh, this means that uh, table is fixed in height. Uh, you can do, but in the middle there's a storage. We have some stuff in there. Uh, you can get a lot of storage in there. Uh, as I mentioned, storage is definitely not not an issue on this part on um, all the seats there is a uh, storage as well i'm not gonna open it all uh there are some live jackets some flares every, every some uh pliers screwdrivers technical stuff for if something something always breaks on a boat so um right here we have uh 
countertop where we yeah we just have some stuff lying around on there we have our toaster and we have some more cabinets uh yeah drawers in the cabinet which we, we've not been using it because we, not, we don't have enough stuff here to to put in there uh, it's it's really it's really and yeah, even some more even more over here so And then we have a second seating area. That's a yeah. We have we have a corner salon over here. And we have a sort of yeah helm station, but it's not equipped with a with a helm station. So there's just a radio, um, and then all the instrument panel. It's uh, for. Uh, the inverter for the generator, uh, fuel tanks, water tanks, uh, controller, uh, and to put all instruments uh, on or off. A lot of cabinets here as well, but that's more technical stuff in there. Um, ah, yes, storage, even more storage underneath here. We have even storage, and there's a second. It goes even deeper. As I mentioned, storage is plenty, plenty on this boat. Even here, we have a large storage under the floor. Look at that, guys. That's really, really. And we have we have a second one right here. So it's storage all over the place. Okay, then uh, it's time to show uh, the bedrooms and the heads. We'll start at the port side. And it's a four cabin layout. This means uh, two cabins each side and two heads in between. So that's on the back of the boat, starboard, the bird on the back of the boat. The bed is very comfortable. You have uh, 12 volt uh, char USB charging for your phone. Um, all rooms are equipped with air conditioning. Let's see if I can, yeah, it's not working of course. We have to start the generator for that. Um, see, there's no, no uh, drawer underneath the bed because the bed isn't that high but there are lots of cabinets here with plenty of space Let's put on some lighting then the heads so uh, it's not that big there's a toilet, each head has a toilet, uh, small sink, mirror, and if you want to shower, you have to use the, and you can put that here, and then you can shower. So, yeah, that's not, that's a bit, I think the four cabin layout is a bit of a, you know, the heads aren't that big. That's, that's, uh, they're all electrical toilets. This mean, uh, job call, uh, just push a button and everything disappears. Okay, turn off the lights. I would have liked the full mirror on this door. That would have been handy as well. Let's see. Let's go to the forward cabin. This is mm, might be a bit more room in here, but they place the bed uh, a little bit higher because it's catamaran and you have to take some steps. But uh, USB chargers as well, uh, air conditioning. Lots of cabinets here. Um, they placed the a bench here. And yeah, I don't know what to think of it. it 
it's not practical to sit on it because your head is the cabinets are in the way and if you have to go in and out of bed it starts to get real let me show you it starts to get real smaller so if you have to get out of it not saying it's impossible but that might have been yeah they i think they better made a, a cabinet till halfway here or something and then a cabinet on top might be if have been a better option i don't know uh, yeah another hanging looking here here show you the heads same as the other side electrical toilet sink mirror and there's a cabinet underneath the sink but probably nothing in there oh yeah there is for them and that for the mosquitoes for a hatch and yeah the other side is practically is actually a mirror image of this that's a internet connection you see there so yeah i think the only thing left are the engines okay engine rooms let's see if i can open this single-handed okay yes okay so two Yanmar 340 horsepower each uh, they're giving the boat a top speed of about 16 17 knots it's a it's a huge engine bay guys here we have engine transmission in front we have a fire extinguisher fuel filters and here's the generator as well generator we can start automatically from uh, inside on on it's a really nice system uh, on the other side yeah it's more or less a mirror image of this only there's no generator of course water strainers over there uh, yeah Next time in Tequila on the Rocks. Okay guys, the weather has taken a turn for the worse. We've got strong winds and massive waves hitting us on the dock. And then... Something snaps. Quick, quick, grab that fender! Pull the rope! Pull the rope! Okay guys, that was it for this episode. As new in the world of YouTube, we could really use your help. And you can do this by giving us a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. So it would really help us. Thanks. Bye guys.